guys. Today you're going to learn how to use the JTAG to Axie Core and uh, this block will allow you to send Axie transactions to your IP Core running to the FPGA. This, uh, this will allow you a new way to test uh, Axie Cores by sending, the, by sending through the TICO language uh, Axie transactions to verify if your IP Core is, run, is running as expected or not. You can use the, the JTAG to Axie Core in conjunction with the Virtual Input Output I.O. or the ILA Cores to, to analyze better what is going on. Okay? Uh, this tutorial will follow the same format, so I'm going to switch to the board to explain a little bit how this whole thing works and then we switch to the lab. So, hope you guys enjoy it and uh, if you have any questions, contact me. Ciao, ciao. Okay, guys. So, how the JTAG to Axie IP Core works? So, it's, a, it's another core, okay, which communicates with your device under test being Axie for light or Axie for full, okay, through TICO commands. So, the idea, you send TICO commands through the JTAG interface to this core, and this core will convert these TICO commands to Axie transactions, okay? So, with this, you can, for instance, exercise your, your IP core to do something and verify the results with the virtual input output I.O., or the ILA core, okay? Uh, well, why this is cool to use? Is uh, as the virtual input output and the ILA core is something that will allows you to exercise your design inside the FPGA. So the, uh, I'm not saying that you should not use a test bench, but this is also a quite nice way to verify if this stuff is working as expected or not, okay? Now I'm going to switch to the, to the lab to see how we can uh, use this block using the GPIO. We're going to put here the GPIO that, is, uh, that will output some, uh, some, some LEDs, okay? Sorry, it will not output the LEDs, it will output the value to the LEDs in the Z board and we're going to use the JTAG to Axie to, to turn on or turn off uh, some specific lights, okay? So, see you guys in the lab. Okay, guys, we are going to start just by creating an empty project where we're going to add our GPIO core and uh, we're going to exercise this GPIO core with our JTAG to Axie IP core, okay? Uh, the, the GPIO core is going to be connected to the LEDs on our Z board. So, the first core we add is the GPIO core. Then, click on connection automation to configure to output to the, uh, to the LEDs on the Z board. Now, we just add the JTAG to Axie core. And uh, after that, we run the design, the connection automation to connect to the GPIO core. By the way, the, uh, our GPIO core is a simple axi light. So, the axe to the JTAG is enough to, to make the connection. Now, we need to create the external connections that we are going to fix in our, uh, in our constraint file to add the, the reset signal and the clock. Okay, now we're going to configure the reset port to have the polarity active low. This is important just to match the, the same reset signal our, of our processor, processor system reset.
Now we're going to grab the 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 address of our GP of our GPIO core. Just to remember, the both the Axi Light and Axi Full are memory mapped protocols. So every IP core has an address. So we we are going to use in our Tico command this address to exercise the IP core. Now, guys, we are creating the constraint file. Uh, there, we are going to connect our external ports that we created in the design block to actually pins in our Z-board. Uh, the signals that we need are the reset and the clock. So they are quite easy because uh, the previous samples that we did, we use exactly those same pins. So it's simple. We can just copy and paste from a previous one and uh, that will be enough. So we're here just changing the names to match our external ports that we have in the design block and we're good to go. Uh, then we're going, to, we're going to switch to the synthetization and uh, after the synthesis we are able, then we are going to be able to use TICO commands to exercise the GPIO core. Okay guys, so we just uh, take a look in the model just to finish up, validate, this is an important step and uh, we ask to synthesize. Uh, by the way, Vivado can be kind of slow to synthesize, so this can take a little bit of while. I just right click on the design to create the, the, the HDL wrapper before we generate our bit stream. Good, I'm going to, to pause the video and uh, otherwise you guys need to wait until the finish of the synthesis. So now we open the hardware manager. We open uh, the board, we, we're going to then program our FPGA. And uh, okay, now that we program the FPGA, we are ready to send TIGO commands to the JTAG to Axi Core. I'm going to put uh, in, the, in the video the, the commands that we need to do. So uh, first thing, we reset the interface. Then we set the address into a variable. The address of the GP of the IP core can be is going to be the GPIO, but the core that you want to control. You create a transaction, okay, with the with the tickle command, and in in the transaction you configure which data you want to send. Okay, then you run the use the run HW axi to to actually execute the transaction, and that's it. I'm going to put also in the end of this the video of uh, of we're controlling the LEDs and it's quite fun and uh, guys basically that's it after if you want to send another transaction you need to delete the transaction to send another one again and uh, you can put this in a for loop in a tickle command or you can create a whole test bench programmatically with the tickle command actually I say tickle but it's dot tcl the uh, the extension of this language okay guys uh, so see you guys in the next video I'm going to just append now the results of this uh, this experiment and hope you guys enjoy it okay guys the first thing that we had that we changed here is this switch that now is always on this is due because of the our reset system that we did uh, we are actually using this switch here and the those here are the LEDs that are going to show the the last word that we that we sent through the through the axi light transaction by by the way coming through the JTAG okay so what I'm going to say now is the JTAG command to put the GPIO at 8 okay now uh, I'm going to create another Axi Light transaction to put it back at 2 okay so resuming that's it uh, what we did here is 
basically we exercise our core through the through the JTAG cable okay and uh, this will allow us to exercise any other core that we are planning to do so this is uh, the JTAG to axis core is a very useful tool to validate if your design is running as expected okay uh, just to remember you always can use this uh, in conjunction with the ILA core or the virtual input output IO if you want more details on what is happening in your core okay so that's it guys, hope you guys like it.